Hello and welcome to today's lesson on Nearpod. Um, as you can see here, Nearpod is an online source. To get to Nearpod, you simply type nearpod.com up into your URL. And at this point, um, you'll be able to log, sign in or create an account. But first, let's talk briefly about what is Nearpod. Nearpod is a online learning tool. It works, it's the best, best way to explain it is think of it as PowerPoint but on steroids. Uh, by that I mean it works as a kind of with slides like a PowerPoint would but with much more tools in it and interactive interactivity for your students. You could have your entire student all your students, whether you have 20 students or 50 students, in a classroom at a computer lab, or if you had them all at home on their computers, and you can be doing your lesson through Nearpod, and they can be doing it with you in lockstep. Um, we'll, I'll demonstrate this here in a little bit. Um, so let's just first let's get things going here. First thing you need to do is you need to get logged in, and you're going to do you're gonna you you want to sign up for it now actually bef before we sign up for it I want to just show you the screen when your students you tell your students to log in the Nearpod this is the screen they're gonna see uh, when they initially bring it up before they're actually logged in and they don't even have to log in you can g give them a code and they put in this code right here or right here and at once they hit this button, that will take them to your specific lesson based on that code. So we go here, we go to for teachers to sign in as teachers. We create a free account, what I want you to do. So I have signed in. This is my my home page. And as you see, I have several choices over here. I have my library, I have explore, join, create, and reports. My library is simply the Nearpods that I have in my library that I've created or that I've taken offline, that I borrowed from offline. All right, let's go back to the home. I have Explorer where I can actually go in and search for Nearpods. Um, let's search, let's say we want something in social studies. So we just go up here to the search bar and hit social studies. Now let's be more specific. Let's say uh, Boston Massacre. Okay, so I got everything here that talks about the Boston Massacre, Boston Tea Party. If you look at these, these are these cost money. Uh, you look around. You find the ones that are free. These all cost money, which you can get them. You can bring in a filter here, and let's. We would just want the ones that are free. Search all lessons. In this case, I was too specific, so I couldn't get one. So that's not a problem. Let's just do social studies, just because I want to get you into. So you can see there are many, many free ones, as you can see here. So I've studied six through eight. And again, you can go through these different filters, subjects, resource type, grades. So this is explore, explore, explore. Join, uh, if I have a code for someone else's, I can hit join and then I can enter the code to go to their Nearpod. And let's go back to my home again. Uh, create, this is where we're going to go if we want to create a new Nearpod. And then this reports, we're not really going to get into this, but you can find out, you can get status on your Nearpods and how much activity they've had. That's what the work the students have done. So first, let's just demonstrate, let's just show you a Nearpod. So these are some Nearpods I have on my, my homepage, my site. Um, let's go... Uh, We'll go to taking perspectives on cyberbullying. So what this is, 
once you mouse over it, you notice I have a choice between live lesson or student paste. Now the difference between this is if I clicked on live lesson, that means I'm in control and all my students are out there on their computers following along with the lesson, seeing the slides as I, as I bring them up and able to interact with each slide as I bring them up. If I was to give this a join code to a student and say, I want you to go through this Nearpod and do this whole, this whole lesson, then they will come in and they will only have the choice to do student paste. Student paste simply means a student has control and can do the activities on each slide and move forward to the next slide at their own pace. Uh, again, live lesson, the teacher is in control and dictates when we move forward. So let's go ahead and do a live lesson. I just want to show you what this looks like real quick. So here's a join code I would give to all my students so that they are all on the same lesson as I'm on. I'm just going to close that. And you'll notice up here the join code is here. So the students all see this one lesson. We see the same slide. And we talk about what we're doing. Down here, it shows how many students I have that are on here. If I know I'm supposed to have 20 students out there, this is, I should see 20 here. Obviously, I have none. Um, there, for the activities within the site where people answer questions, but I want the answers to be able to be seen by all the students. I can choose to hide the student's name so their answers are anonymous to all the other students. And this is simply how many slides. I'm on slide two of 28. So you go through your presentation. Uh, this is just talking about preparation. Uh, essential question, how does online cruelty affect people involved? what you'll be able to do. I want to get to some of these activities so you kind of see how this works. Again, the students are only seeing exactly what I'm doing here. They, they can't go any further. They, they can't go ahead of me or go behind. They have to follow along. So here we have, you notice these bubbles, that's because this is like a couple slides here. So I click on two and there's my second one, perspective. So I might ask, what is perspective? And students, then get the answer, what is perspective. And we move on. So in any situation, different people hold different perspectives. And have you ever had a conversation with one and you explain your answer? So here I am, we'll see all my students' responses. And the students will see this. The student will be anonymous here because I have hide student name. If I didn't have this selected, then their names would show up on here. Um, so there's all kinds of things you can do. I don't want to go into all this. Here you got, again, multiple slides. Multiple slides. Up standard, these are definition slides. Let's watch and discuss. So here we have a video coming up. We're now going to divide into groups four to five in order to understand, okay. Now, now Tracy's proving. Um, Tracy's proving and now I can choose the slide contains video. So if I'm in a classroom, a computer lab, where I have lots of, lots of computers here, I can make it so the video only shows up on my device, on my board, my whiteboard. If I have students that are all at home and they're doing this training, it's, it's an online training, and I'm in control, then I'm going to tell them to all devices. So everybody sees the video at home on their computer. So let's just do this device only. So there's a video clip, but we're not going to watch the video clip. So in your groups, discuss an activity. So there's a lot of different things you can do. And uh, again, answers. Uh, we can also have the students can be drawing, the students can be doing a lot of different things. There's drawing, there's uh, quizzes. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this uh, preview of Nearpod and we're gonna kinda get started on our own. Okay, so we've left that, that demonstration so we can move forward to how to create our own Nearpod. Um, over here, we're gonna go down to create and we're now 
ready to create. One thing I want to show you is you come over here and you can see who's online. We can see that you're logged in. It's you. Okay. So I want to create. So I'm going to add, just click on the add a slide. Now I have choices. I can add content. I can add web content. I can add activity. So let's start with content. I have all these choices. Slides. You remember the ones that had uh, multiple slides in, in linear? That's how you can do this. You can actually take a PowerPoint slide that you have and import them in and do the slides. Uh, Nearpod 3D, we're not really going to mess with that, or the simulation, or the BBC video. These are, these are all things that are, are more advanced than we're going to get into in this class. Uh, sway are like pre-made slides that, again, we're not going to discuss. I'm going to let you explore that on your own. Here's your slideshow where you can also add in a PowerPoint or, or slides. Here, click on this if you want to add a video. So let's say, and there's PDF viewer, you can see all these different options what you can add. So let's just do a quick video just so we can see. This is not naturally the way you can start it. So we can drag and drop or we can select from here what video we want to use. Let's. Uh, Okay, so we're going to do a, a video here. We're going to select our video. I'm going to get it off of a file. Um, let's just go ahead and grab this video here. I'm going to hit select, click on it, then I hit select. It's going to bring it in, and there's my video. Works out great. So now let's create another slide. This time let's do an activity. So there are different options you have. You can have an open-ended question, ask students, they answer. Again, remember this question goes out, all the students see it and all the students are answered. You can have a poll, you can have a quick quiz, you can have them draw something. For instance, uh, if you had them reading a, a quote or something, you can have them draw an image of what that quote meant. Or you can just simply have them draw in a circle around which image is the right just, it's, it's up to you. Uh, collaborate. This is new. It's not something that I'm really familiar with. We're not really going to mess with that. You can have them fill in blanks. And obviously a memory test. So we're not going to go through all these because uh, we just don't have time on this, this video. But I'm going to go over a couple just so you can kind of see. They're pretty easy to do. Once you click on it, you just kind of follow the steps. So let's do a poll. So I'm going to click on the poll. Uh, add one now. No thanks. Not going to add a video. So here I put in my my poll question. Uh, let's just make it really simple. Do you like? Do you uh, prefer green tomato? Tomatoes or red tomatoes? Close enough. You probably spelled tomatoes wrong from the looks of it. And here I put in my response. Red and green. And they will select which one is, is right. Obviously, if I want it more close, I could add an answer here. And I do not want, I want them to select one or the other. So I simply shut that off so they cannot select multiple options. And I hit save and I have that slide. So you do one slide at a time. There's my poll slide, there's my video slide. Let's do another one. Let's do another add activity. Um, let's go to this one over here. Um, uh, let's do the fill in the blank. Fill in the blank is a premium feature. Ah, I've been on here too long. Sorry, you you will not be able to do the fill in. You will be able to do the fill in the blank because you'll be brand new to this. Um, if you want to buy the premium after 30 days or 90 days or something, you will lose uh, that opportunity. So you have to buy the premium in order to do the fill in the blank. Um, so means we can't do that. We'll do the drive. So first, I'm going to drag in an image here. Let's do one from Dropbox. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. We want to do one from, it's not let me do it from my, 
Well, it's just brought my files and I'll grab an image. Let's do the kitchen. Okay, and I do save. So it's uploading my file. And there is my drive. Now, the slide before this, I need to give them instructions on what I want them to do. So I want to open this up because I just double click on it because I forgot to put in my question here. What do I want them to do? Draw, I'm making it very simple. Draw a circle around the refrigerator. And save. <clears throat> so we've deleted, we've created some slides here. It's it's not. Uh, let's do a quick preview down here. So here's my slide. Do you prefer green tomatoes or red tomatoes? And they select which one they prefer. And here's my video. Let me go back. And down here you see the tools that they're going to use. Uh, let's say this one here. We're going to do green. And there's a refrigerator. And every student will be able to do this. Draw a circle around the refrigerator. So I want you to, to go in and um, explore. I'm exiting the preview. Go in here and explore. All the things you can do here in Nearpod. And you're going to create your own Nearpods. And there are certain standards that you must have that will be spelled out to you on the, the rubric and on the instructions for your Nearpod lesson that you're going to create. Uh, we're going to discuss this in much more detail in class as far as the specifics, but I think with the information that you have here at this time, you should be able to navigate Nearpod and do a pretty good job of getting, getting things done in Nearpod. One last thing I want to show you before we leave is to remember, this is my This is my lesson I just say, I just created. Uh, I got to save the changes. So let me hit save. If I want to go in and edit, I go here. Preview it here. I want to save it. I hit save. Um, I'm just going to call it practice because I'm going to delete it here in a little bit. Practice, save and exit. That uh, required me to put in the grade. So I'm going to put in like second grade. And subject will be, it doesn't matter because I'm going to remove it. Once you've saved it, then you will see when I go over it, now I have the choice, live lesson or student paste. And I can move forward, I can go to live lesson, I get the code, I can go to student paste, and I get that code for it as well. Okay, so I think that's it for Nearpon. Um, there's so much to it, trying to do it in a very brief video, but I think you have what you need to be able to move forward and come up with a, a really good presentation, really good lesson. Thank you.